your back affects your daily health. Welcome to another installment of Your Spine, Your Health. This week we're talking about C6. C6 is obviously in the neck and it's part of the seven vertebrae in the neck, after which we get into the thoracic area, which are 12, and the lumbars, which are five. Each of these will be covered off in each show's subsequent information. Today, however, we're talking around C6. Its friend we talked about last week is C5. Down below, we have C7. These form a very critical junction of movement of the whole neck, led always by your head, don't forget. The skull sits on top of that first one, but all that nerve tissue, all that muscle tissue flowing in through the spine and down is critical for all the functions you do, sleep, sitting, standing, work or play, it doesn't make any difference. Now, one of the things that we're seeing increasingly with technology these days is something that is fashionably becoming called as text neck. So what is text neck? Well, if you've ever seen anybody like this, that's text neck. What's going on with those thumbs? Well, it started out with a fairly large computer on a desk, and now technology has made it smaller and smaller so that you're using iPads, iPhones, rims, Blackberries, whatever it is, your little thumbs are having to squeeze down on those little keypads. And when you do that, you're not up here in a nice neutral posture. No, you're sort of hunched over. And a lot of that positioning, there's no such thing as, I'll just be two minutes. Pretty much it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes goes by, and you have frozen your spine in a bent forward position. This is starting to cause a problem in early ages, because remember, until around the age of 18 or so, it varies a little, but around that time, or rather prior to that time, the bone structure hasn't all hardened completely to form each bone joint. So keeping the young people in poor postures has the risk of producing changes that later affect the bone structure. Now, of course, in adults, it's pretty easy to tell even when you're on a keypad on a computer, laptop, or desktop. But more importantly, as you hunch forward like this, this text neck starts to cause a rather burning pain across the shoulders, the bottom of the neck, and if it becomes severe, the pain will travel up the neck and give you those headaches. A really common problem, which the good news is, if you do some stretching exercises that we always talk about, there's a whole lot of self-help and prevention. So what are you gonna do with text neck? Well, simple. Start to put the device down more often. Start to communicate with people the old fashioned way. Text neck is a postural problem. Text neck is a choice. Don't make that choice. Remember, your back is important to your daily health. Join me on the next show as we continue our journey down your spine.